Here's an example with a logistic growth model. And the reason we know it's logistic is that we're given a maximum population. We're given a carrying capacity. In this example, we're told that a forest is currently home to a population of 200 rabbits. That forest is estimated to be able to sustain a population of 2,000 rabbits, so that's the carrying capacity. And the rabbits can grow at a rate of 50% per year. We want to find a model to predict the future rabbit population. Here we'll just use the logistic model where M is the maximum sustainable population or the carrying capacity, in this case 2,000. P sub zero is the initial population, R is the growth rate, T is time, and of course P sub T is then the population at that given point in time. Filling in all the pieces, this is what the model looks like. And the one simple step we'll do is to simplify the parentheses in the denominator. 2,000 divided by 200 is 10, and that minus 1 is 9. So that is a general logistic model to predict the population of this group of rabbits. And given any point in time, we can predict what the population should be.